We're here back in the Fantasy Bar. Big Wednesday night slate in the NBA. And we've got six of my favorite plays ready for you on FanDuel and DraftKings, including one game I want to load up on with multiple pieces on one side. My favorite value play, I think, is at least $1,000 under price. And, of course, my favorite play on the night with 80 to 90 fantasy point upside. Yes, that's right. I said 90. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the Fantasy Bar. Welcome in, guys. Wednesday edition Beers Daily Fantasy Six Pack. Big slate of NBA games tonight. We've got six of my favorite plays ready for you on FanDuel and DraftKings. Thank you, as always, for stopping by the Fantasy Bar and checking out today's video. Before we get into the plays, let's knock out the housekeeping first thing. That thumbs up button really helps us out, tells us you enjoy the content, you like hanging out in the Fantasy Bar. So take a second, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel as well. Pints and Picks is back. Tonight with two of my favorite NBA prop bets if you're into props. So check that out. Again, that notification bell lets you know when that video goes live. And we have a giveaway. We're giving away five free pairs of our brand new Roto Grinders logoed socks. Who doesn't love a good pair of socks? So head over to our Discord and get signed up for that giveaway. Five free pairs of socks. That giveaway ends on Friday. So go check it out. Should already be in the Roto Grinders Discord. But if you're not, go get signed up. A lot of great stuff in there along with that giveaway. All right, let's get into it here for Wednesday night. Ton of injuries we're going to have to work our way through as we had to the other night. If we make any adjustments, I'll post a comment in the YouTube video here. All right, let's get started here. First pick tonight, we are rolling with Karis Levert of the Cavaliers. Tried to go Valley the other night with Sam Merrill. It's going to let us down a little bit. Levert, the guy that just continues to get it done here. All of the injuries here for this Cleveland team, specifically Donovan Mitchell, who just takes up so much usage and scoring for this team. But you also have Evan Mobley and Max Struess all out tonight. And it's been Levert that's really been getting it done and showing some nice upside. We're talking six games of 41 or more DraftKings points over his last 11 here and get it done in multiple ways. The scoring has been there, no doubt, but seven or more assists now in seven straight games, three of those games, double digit assists. So really stepping it up as a facilitator, hitting the boards as well. So you add it all together here. This role, he is underpriced. Take advantage, Paris LeVert leading us off here on Wednesday night. All right, let's stay in the mid range next with Chris Middleton of Milwaukee. Now this one, we're gonna keep a close eye on. I didn't wanna leave him out here, but we do have Giannis listed as questionable. We've seen him miss the last couple games here. If he's out, Bucks are gonna need his offense. Damian Lillard can't go out there and score 50 points. So it'll be Middleton that steps up. And with Giannis off the floor, Middleton sees an almost 11 percent usage bump so just an absolutely big number one of the biggest numbers that we have seen running these numbers in our court iq tool and i get it the concern limited minutes but he's shown he can get it done in those limited minutes Giannis is out lock and load here chris middleton gonna have to play a big role for this bucks team Giannis is in we may make some adjustments we'll get those posted on both youtube and Twitter. All right, next pick, we are rolling with Jalen Williams of OKC. The great spot here against Utah, and I get it. A lot of concern, but if you looked at the board of games tonight, pretty much every game outside of Cleveland, Miami has a massive spread. So we're going to have to target some of these games here. OKC projected for over 122 points in this spot against the Utah Jazz. Jalen Williams really been tearing it up here of late. Five games over his last nine. We're talking 40 or more DraftKings points, and he has been great against this Utah team, averaging near 40 a game in three meetings. Utah, 29th in defensive efficiency. Both these teams love to get up and down the floor. Both top 10 in pace. Great spot here for Jalen Williams, especially over on DK, under 7,000. All right, let's get you my favorite value play for tonight. We're talking Jordan Wara of Toronto. The Wara guy that's shown us some nice upside in all of his travels, even in his time in Milwaukee, Cleveland has really shown that he can get it done with minutes and gonna have to play minutes here again and provide this team with some offense. We're talking no Scotty Barnes, no Emmanuel Quickly, and RJ Barrett also out for this team. So to me, this guy is underpriced, probably at least $1,000, likely even more. So let's take advantage while we still get this value here. He's given us a solid return with these minutes. We're talking six to eight X in each of the last three games. I don't see those minutes going anywhere. The more confidence, the more minutes. I think this production continues here. Jordan War, to me, the best value on the board and the most underpriced player down in the lower range. Take advantage tonight 
with this value. All right, let's stay right there with Toronto. We are rolling with Gary Trent Jr. So we mentioned the injuries, and that is their top three scorers. Somebody's going to have to step up and provide some offense here. I think it's Gary Trent that's going to lead the way for this team. I'm expecting the shot volume to continue to be up there. And this guy's been getting it done, putting the ball in the hoop. 15 or more points now in six straight games. Three of those games, 23 or more. Now that's come over just the last four games here. 32 or more DraftKings points now in five of his last six games. We know the upside is there to get this guy into the 40s has added a little bit in some of the other categories mainly a scorer here but i can go out there and score 25 30 points add a handful of rebounds and assists and get us into the 40s giving us a solid six to seven x return here tonight for gary trent all right it's time take a look at my favorite play for wednesday night before we do that let's continue our beast of the night contest easy to play all you got to do click that thumbs up button then head to the comment section and guess fantasy points on Fanduel tonight for my beast of the night, whoever's guess is the closest, we're going to give you an absolutely free week of Roto Grinders Premium just for hanging out here in the Fantasy Bar. And while you're down there, want that guess for the beast? Also want to know who your beast of the night is. Who's your top play in this Wednesday night slate? Sound off in that YouTube comment section. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play. You know Mass, the beast of the night. All right, this time we're going to stay right there in that Toronto Sacramento game and spend up with the big man, Demonis Sabonis, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's beast of the night. So Sabonis been incredible this season, basically a walking triple double every single time he takes the floor. Now gets a nice spot here against the Toronto Raptors. We're talking bottom 10 in points, bottom five in rebounds allowed, and even bottom 12 in assists allowed to the center position. So triple-double squarely in play here and about as consistent as you could ask for. We had to go all the way back to the start of February. Only three times has this guy gone under 50 DraftKings points. Most of those games were still in the 40s and we know the upside is there to go 70s, 80s, potentially 90s with that triple-double level upside. Seven to eight X, tough to find here when you're talking 10K. I think you get realistic. 7-8x upside here. Great matchup with Toronto. If I'm spending up on anybody on this slate, it is Demonis Sabonis. Once again, easily my favorite play on the board in tonight's beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for Wednesday night here in the Fantasy Bar. As always, any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that YouTube comment section. You can also find me on Twitter at BeermakersFan. Don't forget your guest for Demonis Sabonis. Fantasy points on FanDuel for a shot at some free roto grinders premium head over to discord get yourself a nice cozy pair of new roto grinder socks five pairs given away go get signed up absolutely free on that discord tons of great information if you haven't been over there in this giveaway look for the giveaways channel hit the little symbol get entered into that contest for rotogrinders.com i am bear saying salut guys thank you so much for watching best of luck tonight See you next time. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.